Spirit, with no further ado, I call upon you for your insight, your guidance, your clarity, and protection for me and Taurus. Thank you for using me as a vessel today. Taurus, Ace of Swords. So this is about to be a new beginning for y'all. You got the power of the truth. Channel for you, angels. I'm grateful. Please continue to protect me. Protect Taurus. Protect our foundation. No weapon be a form to come against us, shall prosper. Return to sender all black magic. Evil entity. Spare work being sent. Return to sender. Return to sender. Return to sender. You got truth on your side. You got God's truth on your side. The spiritual truth on your side. So, as well as the physical truth on your side. So, you know, this is power. And this is clarity. And this is true insight and guidance. So, God is with you every step you take with this. The attribute that belongs to the letter Vav and the constellation of Taurus is hearing. Hearing. The attribute of hearing. Yamaya is known as the mother of all living things. She aims to bring comfort and cleansing to all who encounter her. On her chest sits a cannabis leaf because she helps mortals with learning to love themselves and healing for the emotional body. It's like the hand of God stepping in to help you with this sore. So you will be blessed in this new beginning in the truth with clarity, sharpness. The letter Vav and the energy that comes from Taurus has to do with hearing. You can embody this goddess, Yamaya. When beside Jimla in a reading, Yamaya's powers are amplified. When this card appears, it's time to take a walk by the river and remind yourself that you too can rebuild yourself when the time comes to rise. The queen of wands. So you might be very inventive, very creative, the life of the party kind of energy. Like when they're in the room, it's like a boom. It's a good, good time. So all in all, this is powerful energy. And if you're creative, most likely this is you with that magical wand, getting things done. So if this is you, not only are you very magical, you also got the hand of God, truth on your side. Some of you guys have really transformed a lot of people. It's like these people here, they, they are going through a transformation. These are mortals. I feel like you're immortal. <laughs> Taurus is the month of Helix. There's a phrase from the Bible itself. It says, all of the plagues or the diseases that I placed on Egypt, I will not place on you, referring to the Israelites, because it says, Ani Hashem Rofesa. I am Adonai, your healer. That's what it says in the Bible. God is a healer. These are mortals here. You, you're helping them to transform. Little do they know. We discussed the tablet of the Tetragrammaton and the various permutations used to heal the human body. Now that particular idea, if you will, or energy comes from the month of Taurus. I feel like you are not getting ready to keep going and transforming motherfuckers because you're done with your transformation. Okay, you done transform about a million and, and thousand million zillion times. It's like, I feel like you're not going, you're choosing to not repeat these patterns. You're, you're just not. The initials Ani Adonai Rofecha is the acronym for the month of Taurus, which in Hebrew is ER. What is important to understand from this discussion is Taurus is the vehicle for healing. We got the king of love. So this could be friendship. This could be lovers. It could be someone advising you. We got Egg Bay here, Bliss. That's at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, sex magic. Okay, yeah, miracles. Balance, chaos, and sex magic. This is a true sword, and this is a lover, and this is true magic, like the gift of magic. So maybe these two are getting together or talking or that sort of thing. When somebody daydreams about you, they fantasize a lot about coming towards you. Show me more. My ace of swords. Reverse position. You got the king of cups here. This could be why somebody ain't came towards you yet because they still it's still some things that they have to handle. Because if they come towards you now, it'll be a lie. But this damn masculine here, this masculine, whoever this is, this masculine right here, there's a there's a dark karmic masculine that's spying on you with their down low ass. Or maybe it's you know a new beginning with these two, whether it's business partners or whether it's love that could be so or you could already be together and you're going to a new stage in your love but we'll get more clarity as we go or something still ain't right show me more knight of swords okay so there's a blockage there i told you something ain't right they are watching you they're spying on you if you're gonna grow past this shit or not they're trying to like cause delusion they're doing some sort of mirror magic or glamour magic or something like that 
to cause you to stay stuck. And it's not working. Somebody also too could be lying to themselves or trying to hold back their feelings from you. But I see like the, their feelings here is getting the best of them. You got everything to be fine. Which is the Ten of Swords. Somebody here just likes to pick on you spiritually. Whoever the fuck they say. Queen of Wands, wow. Seven of Wands, okay. So there's the blockage. Towards you could wanna go towards somebody or somebody here could be like trying to come towards you, but there's a blockage. What's this male spine down here? That's what I wanna see. What's this male spine with this same sex off limits? What is that? What's this male spine down here? Cause they, they like, they seem like they karmic. As fuck. Hiding in a love situation. Like, what the fuck are you, what? What's this? They wanna see if you gonna be with the wrong lover. So what? I, like, this person need to get a grip. I see somebody here just like trying to block you from moving on and finding like your person. Yeah. What's this down here? With this male spying, delusional, bisexual, same sex, or whatever. Hiding a love situation. Burning money. Okay, so they broke. Burning through cash, can't save, spends money faster than they can earn it. What else? Yeah, divination spine. They keep on watching you to see if you're gonna step into your purpose, and you are. You are stepping into your purpose. I feel like you caught this person playing around in your damn energy. What else is this? Emotional, damn it! Split personality reverse. Yeah, distorted masculine. That's a pick me. Somebody here trying to see if you if you tripping or not, and you're not. With split personality reverse, because they damn sure got a split personality. <laughs> it ain't you. It's they acting differently around you and the next person, not feeling like they can be themselves around certain people. Yeah, that's in the reverse. This person, no. They like want you to like get in this energy where you can't fully be yourself. They want to, yeah, they're trying to control you. They want to want you to kind of like um be closed off. They don't like you in this free spirited kind of like energy, but that's your purpose. That's your purpose to be this fiery, passionate, bold, fun person. Like they want you to be stuck or trapped and not be, not be in your purpose. But I'm here to tell you this. You sit in shit too long. It stops smelling. So come the fuck out of there. Message! What else for this bitch down here with they down low ass? Yeah, legal issues. Someone got sued, fighting court battles, getting a lawyer, contracts going wrong. What else? Happiness flipped out in the damn reverse. Happiness is here or it's on its way. Expressing gratitude, please with life. They, they ass is depressed. And it's like crying over someone. This person here. Religious, yeah. Message. Religious. Someone is into their religion, goes to church, tithes, follows religious dogma. Tenth house. Yeah, like this situation involves someone's ambition, their rank, motives, their rank. I mean, their motives, their rank in society, achievements, accolades, and social class. This is a damn. No weapons. against me. That's spying on your love life. Dad Jesus, please don't try me because I'm fine. What you say? Turn the other cheek. Oh, but this one part of the Bible that just don't sit right with me. Hater. Always partying and playing games. Yeah, this person here, they just sit up there and spy on you. They like to spy and see what you're doing. They didn't already sold, they sold. They, they, you know what I'm saying? This is down low, this down low asshole. They fucking around for money and all that. Or they in your energy, they're trying to manifest off you. What they're trying to do is get you to have sex with the wrong person because then your energy is distorted and they can pull from your energy. They want you to be out of whack, off violence. They want you to get out here and fuck around so that way they can keep doing whatever the fuck it is that they're doing over here. Confirmation. I know a lot of demons. I can summon any one of them. Bodies holding bodies. It was as if they were cuddling. So Taurus, this is this is a test. Like I said, you don't need to be having sex with no damn body. Keep your dick in your pants. Move forward. This person keep on spying and shit because they ass is broke and they can't manifest shit without your energy being distorted. That's the key. I know a lot of demons. I can summon any one of them. Bodies holding bodies. It was as if they were cuddling. I know a lot of demons. I can summon any one of them. Bodies holding bodies. It was as if they were cuddling. As long as you're not in your purpose, they can pull from your energy. As long as you're in alignment, 
that you're protected and they can't do shit. They understood not what things they were which he spake unto them. Then said Jesus unto them again, I am the door of the sheep. All that ever came before me are thieves and robbers. I am the door. By me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved. The thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am come that they might have life, and that they might have it more abundantly.